Pagi today, so Pagi, it's 8 in the morning, this is Shopinai Dash. It's just everywhere right now, the weather is going to be raining a little bit later, so we'll see what happened with the weather, I'm not sure. Everybody, this is Roda Yupinai Dasher. Welcome to my vlog again. Today, actually, I kind of pretty sad the other day because I got this message from the DoorDash app. They sent me a text saying that this message that a DoorDash customer reported my delivery from one of the pizza place wasn't delivered and it might be some deactivation that I have to finish my uh, orders every time all honestly saying is that I remember all the deliveries that I did the other day was all delivered I don't have no problem it probably was late but and also has the app problem or the signal but everything was all delivered to the right address so from now on I'm going to document all my deliveries I know it's gonna probably take time and it's gonna take our time also but uh, uh, that would be the best thing to do so that we won't be deactivated who knows whose fault is it the app or the customer we don't know which one but on my uh, honestly on myself honestly saying that I delivered all my customer okay anyway they haven't uh, response me yet or email me yet the DoorDash app about uh, the uh, message that I, I sent back to them the reason because we have to uh, uh, give them note of what happened to that uh, situation even we are not out of control of what's going on for the whole day there's a lot of things that's gonna uh, probably problem so uh, we're just trying to do the best we can to uh, give the food to the customer warm and deliver it as possible as we want also so today it's uh, Thursday January 16, 2020 and I'm going to dash over here at uh, Riverside and they have a dollar peak pay for about two hours right now. So I'm gonna log in. It's 11.28. And we just started uh, logging in right now. Um, just a saying that sometimes being an independent contractor actually is not easy even if it's not on our control. Uh, the situations of the customer, uh, the how busy the restaurant is and how the traffic goes, the flow of the traffic and also some situation also you have some emergency. Those are something that you look up when you're uh, want to be an uh, independent contractor it's good also that you have a flexible flexible hours that's one thing I love being uh, independent uh, workers and uh, this door does really does help a lot for me and especially with my kid uh, being at school and uh, I can just go vacation everyone I can just took off I can resume that or uh, also uh, we can end the dash when there's a situations happen all right, and uh, I don't know when they're gonna respond to me. Hoping that everything is work all right, uh, everything will be good until the end of the week. So far, they've been dashing for uh, almost uh, two days now, and there's no problem. <laughs> Yay! All right, we're just waiting for an order. Hopefully, we can get the first order a uh, big uh, pay right now. So it's been about five minutes, and we'll see what happens next. So I'll give you all the total later on. Okay, we got an order right now at the Rubio's uh, restaurant. It's 4.9 miles for $7 and must be delivered by 12.09. So I'm going to accept that. The good part is right close to the freeway. It won't take me that long. And this has to be picked up by 11.53. 
Let's go. It's only taking me five minutes to deliver to the customer. I'm not sure if that roller guy is supposed to be there. <laughs> That's supposed to be only for the bike. So what is he doing there in the middle of the road? That would be scary for me. I couldn't do that. Okay, we got that finished. And the base pay is $3. Pick pay $1. Customer tip three dollar. Elks. Okay, got another order at Seven Eleven. This is seven dollar. And freeway to freeway is not that far, and it's closer to a hospital as well. Three point seven miles. So Seven Eleven is just right, close by. So I'm accept that. Okay, and we don't know what the order is, so let's just pick it up. So they had a monster drink, Cheetos, and a Kit Kat bar. <laughs> that sounds good, chocolate. And right now we're dropping this for about only nine minutes. Yeah. Another order. <laughs> That's done. Like that. Yay! Alright, we got that delivered. It's always a good thing when the customer comes out from uh, their house to pick up the food right in my uh, car. So mark everything and let's light I have about 12 more minutes actually yeah so we got paid three dollar uh, base pay pick pay dollar and three dollar tip it's all the same as the first and second order okay so we're just gonna wait for this orders hopefully we can get another one right now seven I have about 13 more minutes out of my uh, schedule was scheduled until 1.30 so but the peak pay is about 13 more minutes so hoping we can get another order we're just gonna wait to the close area the all right it's been uh, almost 20 minutes now and I haven't got any ordered <laughs> the peak uh, rush hours is already been a uh, uh, gone so I just make $21 but my schedule is at 1 30 p.m. and I'm just gonna move a little bit to the hotspot we see if we can get another order <laughs> okay that's already 1 30 p.m. my schedule ended in there and I didn't get any other order from the last time so we only made uh, $21 there and that was two hours of my uh I started from 11 31 and ended at 1 30 so it's for two hours for three delivery it's okay we ended that dash there and that's three delivery for $21 and two hours of my schedule all right everyone and be careful out there when you do your deliveries. Uh, make note of every delivery you have. You never know what the app's gonna uh, send a text message to you guys. And yeah, I just want to record this so the dasher could be able to help there. If you guys are dashing out there, uh, be safe and beware. Thanks everybody for watching. This is Roda again, your Pinay Dasher. I'll see you guys next time on my next experience. Bye! Be safe out there.